how to check quality of our capsules? That's easy. Pour the contents of a purchased herb capsule into a bowl. Compare with a similar dry herb in another bowl. The whole dry herb will have a stronger smell and color. Higher smell and color is indicative of a higher quality herb. Capsules that contain normally the worst quality herbs commercially available. The truth is that the encapsulation process ruins the herb in itself. How, you may ask? Well, if you have ever shredded lettuce, a lettuce seed for a couple of hours it soon wilts and rots quickly. When an herb is pulverized into a powder, the heat generated by the equipment literally cooks the herb. Decay accelerates because of the herb being exposed to air. Then the herb further decays in the shelf waiting to be purchased for months and years. If you have good ingredients and you have good herbs, then obviously you will get great medicinal remedies. So in addition to herbs, there are a number of themes and ingredients that we're going to need for creating our own homemade remedies. You know, keep calm and love quality. If your herbs are of the highest quality, of course, you want your ingredients to be of the higher quality too. What we really need here is a guide to quality. We will begin with oils. Oils, the most important thing to remember our oils is that oils are supposed to light and heat become rancid, and rancid oils are carcinogenic. How to test if an oil is rancid? Put a drop of oil on the back of your tongue. If it burns, it's rancid. Normally oils will tend to have a longer shelf life when they're inside of dark tins or bottles. You might have seen this in the supermarket. Be sure that any oils you buy are cold press, since any other extraction process for oils uses chemical solvents to increase oil yield. My favorite, of course, since I was born in Spain, is olive oil. Olive oil has been known and has a reputation for being the best, since it is rich in antioxidants, which are food comp compounds such as vitamins A, C, E, carotenes, and selenium. Now, oils can be used for internal use or external uses. Internal use means the ones that we're going to eat. Antioxidants help combat destructive free oxygen molecules in your body. They also help the body fight degenerative and age-related diseases. Remember, olive oil should be grated and cold pressed. What is great? Well, the first cold pressing yields the highest grade. Normally, that's called extra virgin, which is the best for internal uses. Canola oil can be a great substitute, and mess makes a less expensive substitute. 